Hey everybody, Marty from Recast Software here, and this video is about some new features in version 4.8 of Right Click Tools. Um, if you notice, the actual version of Right Click Tools that we're talking about right now is the community version. So we're very excited to be able to bring some new features to our community version of Right Click Tools. So let's get started and take a look. Um, there are a couple of new things that we can do. Uh, the first of those is the ability to do what we call some of the uh, remote windows security tools. So if you go into right click tools, go to security tools, you'll notice that the remote windows security tool here is available. I'm doing this against a collection, so my list looks shorter. Um, but if you're doing this against an individual device, you'll see a bunch of things that are grayed out and remote windows security will be available. So when you click on remote windows security, it's going to open up our remote windows security tool and it's going to show by default when it starts up, it's going to start in this defender section. So there are two sections that you can use as a community user, this defender section and the defender exclusion section. So let's talk real briefly about the defender section. So if you look here, all of our devices are split out depending on which section they fit into. And those kind of are based on this. There is, if they have protection enabled, if real-time protection is enabled, what the signature version is, what the client version is, what the engine version is, and then it shows how many devices are in each of those sections. I can go ahead and drop these down and I can get some additional information like, when did the signature last update? When was the last full scan? When was the last quick scan? But the interesting thing is that I can actually go ahead and I can do some of these things over here. If I want to, I can go ahead and start a quick scan on all of the devices that I have selected. I can start a full scan on the devices that I have selected, or I can update definitions on the devices that I have selected. So that's kind of a nice feature, be able to get your uh, Defender up and running, get it scanning, um, and make sure that your definitions are up to date as well. The next thing that you can do is this Defender Exclusion section. So Defender Exclusions, there isn't a ton of stuff that we can do here. However, we can actually view what the Defender Exclusions that exist in our environment are, right? So we can actually see that all 26 of the devices that were in that collection have this basic uh, exclusion listed. So we can kind of take a look and then we can see maybe some others that only a couple of them have. Well, this one has, looks like there's this, there's three devices that have this SQL um, separated out so that it's got its own exclusion, which is excellent. The interesting thing that you can do, however, is if you know there are some devices maybe that aren't showing up in a section that should be, um, you can if you can find them in another section, you can go ahead and do actions right from here. So maybe you want to go ahead and because you knew that those needed to do, we're getting all of our information from group policy, you can go ahead and do a group policy update right from here and have it update. So kind of a nice way to, to take a look at some Defender uh, information and how Defender exclusions are set up. Now, I mentioned there were a couple of things that we could do with right-click tools. Uh, 4.8 that we couldn't do previously. And if you notice, there is a new dashboard called the Endpoint Insights Dashboard. Now, you may have heard that Enhanceoft is now part of Recast Software. That brings some amazing reporting tools to us. Um, if you are a community user, however, there is still some things that you can do. So inside here, because we're a community user, we're not gonna be able to do any of these other things, but we can use some of these Config Manager native reports that we've added here. The other interesting thing, we're gonna go ahead and show you what you can do. So if you grab Hardware 01A, Summary of Computers in a Specific Collection, you've probably used this before to search for some specific things about a group of computers maybe. I'm going to go ahead and grab our virtual devices again, click view report, and it's going to come up. And that looks real similar to what I've seen before. I remember this. I do use this a lot, right? Maybe I need to find a serial number, what the operating system is on some of these computers. The interesting thing and where this gets fun is that you can actually start to do actions from inside here as well. So the idea of Endpoint Insights as we move forward is the ability to do actions from our reports. How exciting is it to be able to do actions right from here? So let's say you wanna do a machine policy retrieval just to prove that this actually is a thing. We'll go ahead and hit machine policy retrieval. 
And you can see we went ahead and ran that machine policy retrieval. So we're very excited about the new features in 4.8, and we hope you will be as well. Thanks, everybody.